All right, brace yourself, guys. We're about to check out this gorgeous RGD from Ibanez, straight out of their Axion label series. About to go over what makes it so special and why I like it so much. Roll it, Matt. All right, to start off, we're gonna take a look at the finish on this, which is a gorgeous satin finish. It's a stained finish. So we have a beautiful sapphire blue burst. Uh, honestly, no offense to you gloss finishes out there on guitars, but I love a satin matte finish. It feels fantastic. And the same goes true for the neck on this thing. Matt will show the glory shot of the five piece panga panga walnut neck. Gives you even more sustain. You got a couple really hard woods and a five piece neck. Gives you tons of sustain for days. And it looks awesome. So we got that going on. This awesome finish. And on top of the aesthetics, show it again, Matt. We gotta see the dots on the side here. These are luminescent dot inlays. So if you're playing in a dark environment, Ibanez has you covered. You'll actually be able to, these, these dots all light up in, uh, in the dark there. So you can see what you're doing even on a completely black stage. Uh, easy to charge up, whether you're doing sunlight or just doing it with your, your phone. Honestly, you can charge it with the flashlight on the phone. Uh, just shine it, you're good to go. But what's truly special about this guitar is the sound. RGD, it's an RG, you got your double cuts going on so you can reach your high register. It's super fast playing guitar, great for soloing. It's, it's an Ibanez, of course it's gonna be great for lead playing. But the D on that stands for down tuning. The neck on this guitar is actually an inch longer than a standard neck. And the reason being, that helps out a ton when it comes to down tuning your guitar. Standard tuning on this guitar is actually a full step down. It's D to D instead of E to E. And having that longer neck like that makes the strings feel a lot better when you're in low, lower tunings. And it gives you more sustain and everything's just significantly more comfortable. You don't have to worry about things getting floppy or sounding muddy, anything like that. That's why it's always a good idea to have a longer neck like that when you're playing down tune stuff. That way you don't have to compensate as much when it comes to the strings, you don't have to go crazy heavy. And I believe these are just uh, 10 gauge strings on these and they still feel like 10s. They don't feel like 8s or 9s, they feel like 10s. So that's a huge thing because when you're playing lead, the feel is everything. And the pickups that we have on board on this guitar are a couple awesome humbuckers. We have DiMarzio Fusion Edge pickups, which I really adore these pickups. The fantastic thing is they have a nice cutting sound in the high end so you can cut through mix even when you're in a low tuning. And with low tuning, you don't run into as many problems with these because the, the mid-range doesn't get very mucky. It stays nice and clear. And the low end just booms on these. It, it sounds just uh, clear as day. And controls, super easy. Look, we got a volume knob. We don't need tone. It has all the tone that it needs. It, it, it handles that. Ivan SS is covered. They'll do it for us. But this thing has sustain for days, has clarity in its sound, and Believe it or not it's, not, it's not just great for metal. It's great for all kinds of sounds too. So you can really experiment with this because the pickups are super clear and you can do a lot with it. But here it is, gorgeous to look at, gorgeous to play. We'll check out a little bit of that sound and let's take it from there. All right, guys, there you have the RGD from Ibanez's Axion label series. Feels great, sounds great, looks amazing. Come on in, give it a try. You will not be sorry. There's a reason it's one of my favorite models out there. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if you've ever tried down tuning stuff, longer necks, let us know. And as always, thank you so much, guys. We will see you in the next video.